you write, um, because I'm just going, reading right on, uh, it is highly confusing f thing for me, plus, wait, hold on, I got a perfect illustration. This is my college textbook, if college book, uh, college class philosophy book that I, in a class I took, um, God, a decade ago. Uh, the God, the cosmological, teleological, ontological arguments that are talked about in here. Um, yeah, for that God, for the Calvinist God or whatever, or, or for the Western view of things. Uh, remember, it was through communism and capitalism, these things that robbed us of our inheritance, of the, the idea of the Western. That's why I, I will never write God. I write G-D, and outside of YouTube, I say heaven. When, when, I, when I pray to heaven, uh, he never talks back to me, but I hope he hears my prayers, or I know he hears my petitions. <clears throat> it's because it just doesn't come across, just like logos being translated word. Logos actually, in the first century, had to context almost exactly like Tao. Um, actually, our term, uh, God, it would be better to call the Orthodox... God, the Tao, instead of, it's more Tao than God, but, um, yeah, it's this, it, it's the idea that God is trapped inside of space, that he's a sky God, God is outside of space and time, and these events are apocalyptic that we see in the great feasts, you know, um, uh, <coughs> uh, do, 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 plus, if it's entirely based off of how you see God, then what's the need for working out salvation? No, uh, how you, s yeah, you know, I mean, the reason why I have contacts in my eyes is so I can see, see stuff better, I can see the road better, and, um, but that doesn't mean the road's not there or that a car's not going to kill me. What's the point of working out your salvation? Um, the torment comes from within, right? Uh, but that doesn't mean that it, I mean that doesn't mean that a sociopath is going to be just great. I mean, there's different ways of explaining uh, uh, or relating the ineffable or, or what we have been revealed, what was revealed to us through the Mother Church. Um, but it's not just it's not just kind of a hippie thing. Well, everybody's there's just no good or evil. You know, I mean, you can go out in the streets of Chicago right now and see some pretty freaking evil stuff out there, and then you could go. You, block over, go up to a hospital building and see a child getting chemotherapy. Wow, that's really horrible that the child has cancer. Wow, that's beautiful that so many millions of people worked over the last 50 years or even 200 years for modern medicine and that this child is getting treated and that even that Catholic Church and through St. Jude's organization, even though they're not Eastern Orthodox, they're paying for the treatment of this child. Wow, you can see the horror and the beauty right there. And that's where the love comes in. Remember, the goal of orthodoxy is co-suffering love. It's not even just to find our own salvation. It, it, salvation is found in co-suffering love. Um, if I see God as love, etc., but I don't work out salvation, I'll experience it as paradise. I'll make that in video, that, that I actually have, to, I'll stop here because it's going to, again, overheat, and I'll go and address that in another video. Uh, love is never inactive, by the way, and I, that's what I'll get to in the next video.